Hello everyone, this is Corbin from How To Do, and today you guys will be learning how to improve the performance of your game uh, when you build it on Android. So uh, this was the game which I was working on lately, and I, I have you know a lot of problems when I made this. So it looks pretty good in uh, in the Unity version, but when I build it on Android and when I run it on my mobile phone, uh, mobile device, it it does not look as good as it is right now and it starts lagging and all that so how to reduce that and what are the best settings and conditions and all that stuff for your Android game so so yeah let's get started first thing what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and say edit and project settings and here you can see there is quality alright so you have to click this quality over here and here you can see different options so there are levels over here all right so levels are very low low medium high very high and alpha so as you can see it is set to very high right now and what does it mean well it means that it is very high uh, for the android devices all right but in your case it, it it will be like medium or something like that you can see the difference here uh, if i uh, take this guy out and do that and do that okay uh, so now if I go to edit project settings quality and this is the very low uh, quality settings and when I go to low it's like that so there's not much of a difference in here medium there are little shadows or what the heck is that <laughs> I don't know what the heck was that but then there's a high which has some problem over here and here and then there's very high which is pretty good and there's ultra high which is cool right so there are difference differences between that so you can choose in here what you need all right so like what your mobile uh, device can handle and what kind of game you have if there are no shadows then you should choose very low and how to choose it well you cannot choose it like this all right you're not choosing it right now you're not selecting it right now you're just previewing it all right it's not selected right now to so how to select it you have to come over here as you can see this is the PC PC Mac it's written over here PC Mac and Linux standalone and then there's Android and then there's WebGL all right so in the Android you have to come in this click this arrow and here you can set these options all right so there are same same options over here but you can set it from here so it's in my case i'm i have selected it very high because i want these shadows and all that stuff but you can set it to medium or high or low or very low depending on your game so if your game does not have any shadows or if your game is like 2d and it does not handle lighting and all that you should select very low or low because yeah you can see it does not uh, gets very bad in this situation my car remains the same you know only the shadows are affected and all that stuff but so I'm gonna set it with very high or ultra doesn't has that much of effect yeah then you have uh, this texture quality I have set it to half resolution you can set it to full resolution if your game is you know you, your your device can handle it or not I have set the pixel count to zero that helps a lot and then I have set it to this guy what is it this textures on force on and I you should set this anti aliasing to disable because that you know helps a lot in performance but I have set it to 2x uh, it doesn't matter but you can set it to disables if you want to uh, you know make your game better uh, performance and all that stuff and uh, disable these two all right disable them and you can uh, you should uh, enable this billboard face camera and all that resolution scaling I have set to one uh, shadow masks to shadow mask shadows if you do not have any shadows then you should disable them but in my case there are some shadows so I do want them so I'm gonna go with uh, hard and soft shadows it doesn't matter in this case but you should disable that if you don't have any uh, shadows if you don't want any shadows all right then shadow resolution you should set it to low resolution all right 
uh, because that helps a lot uh, yeah so set it to low resolution but, but you can also set it to medium resolution but if you want a really cool performance then you should set it to low resolution all right but of course if the shadows are low resolution then they will have these kind of you know pixely thingies over there so I don't want that so I have set it to high resolution because as you can see it's now much much better and if you do want a really cool shadow then you should set it to very high because there are no pixels right now over here as you can see that's cool but you can set it to low resolution if you want and then I have set uh, this guy to close fit because I don't want these guys over here alright so I have set it to close fit and now there's shadow distance alright what is this well uh, it it tells that how much distance uh, from how much distance the camera will start rendering the shadows alright for example if I set it to 35 and I come to my game uh, or scene view and if I take my camera and I have set it to orthographic if I set it to perspective and bring it out just like that so as you can see there are no shadows rendering over here all right but if I oh come on this guy star vanishes and set it that lock lock this guy if you don't want this guy to vanish all right from here so if I now increase the shadow distance you will see the shadows uh, appear over here but if I decrease it the shadows will vanish well this tells how from how much distance the camera will start rendering the shadows alright and if you don't want uh, the camera to render you know uh, extra shadows then you should decrease it alright but in my case I have set it really close so that my uh, this guy is really close to okay so I've set it to 35 because if I decrease it a little bit you will see these guys start to vanish from here so this is the max or minimum thing all right so if I decrease a little bit it starts to fade away from here all right and then I have set it the near plane uh, to zero and then I have set it to no cascade cascade or whatever and you don't need to do anything over here just set don't sync because that will help you a lot you know it will help you a lot and you can also set it to one bone I don't know what it is actually <laughs> Um, an LOD level of detail if you do, uh, I don't think so you will have that so you don't need that and yeah these are others you don't need that then what you can do is you can if you if your a game has UI or something like I have these guys and then I also have uh, this guy uh, over here popping out over here all right so if you have this kind of a UI uh, which does not interacts with the user you know it's just for their help like this one it's a, just a tip uh, so you, user does not clicks over here or anything then you can go to UI all right and select the UI over here all right and in here you will see in the image script you will see raycast target all right and you have to uncheck that because if you do check that if you do that and then it will check if the user is pressing it or not every frame and that you know consumes a lot of uh, performance and then you have to go inside each of them like these are text these are text objects like all of them phone you control <laughs> I don't know why I said that tilt to control I did that um, but these are text only and you have to go to each text and you have to disable raycast target all right raycast target disable that and disable over here okay you have to disable that too all right make sure you disable everything uh, like the raycast target everywhere it doesn't it is not over here okay cool so you have to do that too all right and if you're using the post processing stack which I'm using right now uh, to you know it's on the camera right now so if I in disable that you can see the difference between the post processing thing if I just disable this guy and I come back and you can see uh, the difference right bam and ram bam and ram huge difference between that so if you're using the post processing uh, and so this is the post processing profile so I am using only three things Vignette which is this uh, these 
gradient kind of thing you know it it, it gives a gradient look to your scene and then I'm using color correction which has great effect and then I have motion blur uh, which blurs the motion of course <laughs> and then I have bloom so it's just glows a bit you know so if you're using this post processing then you should not use anti-aliasing over here too because that uh, you can set it to extreme performance if you want if you really want the anti-aliasing which means um, you know the pixely things are you know fine-tuned and all that but I don't really need it oops sorry uh, extreme quality it doesn't doesn't uh, actually you know has a great difference on my scene so I'm not using it but you can use it on extreme performance if you really do want it so your game will not lag and you should not use any of these extra ones because they may cause your game to lag but that's pretty much it that's it for your game to not lag when you build it on Android so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed my video and this is the game which I'm is which I'm working on and I really do want to show it to you guys but I want also want to you know uh, upload it on uh, Google Play Store and I'm still working on it so that's why I'm not able to upload any tutorials so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and if you do want to support me then you should uh, donate me some money through PayPal the link to that is in the description box below and in, uh, if you want to, uh, to learn how to uh, do this post processing stuff like from here to here then you sh uh, then you should comment me down below if you really do want to learn that I will try to make the tutorial on that too and the next tutorial will be on how to make a third person uh, controller on Android so if you want to learn that then make sure you subscribe to my channel so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video